Welcome to 360 Yard Wars presentation, Single Gates, everything that you need to know. We are going to go over everything that you might need to know for choosing hardware for a single gate. And by a single gate, we mean a single panel that swings in or out. In this video, we will talk about the components of a single gate installation, choosing your hardware, which would include your latch, a gate stop, and hinges, whatever information you would need for placing an order, and then at the end we will include a link to resources to help you make your choices. Before we get going, this is a really great tip. The best time to choose gate hardware is before your gate is built. This will allow you to plan the gate construction so that it works with exactly the hardware that you want. If your gate is already built, don't worry about it. There are lots of good options. Components of a single gate installation. Your gate will have a latch, hinges, and a gate stop. You may also choose to lock your gate. Notice in the photo that the hinges and the latching portion of that latch are installed on the side of the gate that it swings toward. And let's talk about swing. In swinging refers to the gate swinging into an enclosure. Out swinging refers to the gate swinging out from an enclosure. When you're standing outside your gate, let's say at the street looking toward your backyard, on an in-swinging gate, you'll see just the handle and plate from the street. On an out-swinging gate, you would see the opposite. You'll see the latch, handle, and plate from the street. So the latching portion will be installed on the outside of the gate if it's an out-swinging gate. This is a photo of an in-swinging gate from the outside. You can see the thumb depressor there, you put your hand on the handle, press down, and then push that gate in. This is an outswinging gate. You, uh, to operate the latch, you twist it, lift that latch arm, and then pull the gate toward you to enter. Choosing your hardware. When it comes to latches, there are things that you need to consider, and then there are those that you are going to want to consider. Let's start with what you need. If you are in a coastal location, you will need a material that withstands that kind of weather. Salt and sun can be really tough on gates and hardware, so choose stainless or bronze as the material. Do not choose iron, even if it's galvanized. It will rust. If that's a look you want, then go for it. But if you don't want that look, choose stainless or bronze. And then for areas where you're at least um, several miles from the ocean and you don't have any kind of coastal fog, you should be able to choose from any material that you like. The next factor is gate thickness. If your gate is already built, you will need to know what thickness the gate is. That is the measurement from the inside surface to the outside surface of the gate as you're looking at it from the edge. You'll have the most latch options available to you if the gate is about three inches or less. We do have many options available up to five and a half inches, but just less options. The next thing, in swinging versus out swinging. As you saw in the previous slides, on, in sw on out swinging sorry, gates, you will see the latching portion on the outside of the gate and you will pull the gate toward you as you open the gate. Most often, people choose to set up an in swinging gate, but sometimes there isn't a choice. You have a pool safety regulation or maybe there's a slope or a set of stairs behind the gate and it must swing out. In that case, one terrific latch for outswinging gates is this Coastal Bronze Contemporary Lever Latch. It looks great from both sides of the gate, and having it installed on outswinging gates isn't any sort of compromise in appearance. This that you're seeing in the photo is the outside view. It's gorgeous. Um, at the end of 
the slideshow we've got a resources link and we will include the link to this product there so you can check it out so these are the factors that will dictate the basics of your latch choice next let's hone in on the on the factors that would make it just what you want and that would include the style do you want something really modern or textured and rustic what finish color um, generally latches are black bronze or silver and that silver being stainless steel when choosing a finish color think about any other existing hardware that will be near the gate uh, a mailbox do you have landscape lighting address numbers try to choose a finish color that complements what you've already got going and the final item is the type of latch we've linked more info um, on that resource page that I referenced and um, there are ring latches thumb latches lever latches you want to think about how is the gate going to be used uh, who will it be used by and whether that latch type is intuitive I will say generally levers are the most intuitive that anybody including someone who has never been to your gate before will know how to operate rings are probably the least intuitive and thumb latches being somewhere in the middle hinges first and foremost need to support the gate so start with the size of your gate an average gate is 42 inches wide by 70 inches high average and then by about maybe two and a half inches thick so at this size you should have the most options available to you in terms of hinge choice and a reminder that the hinges are installed and viewed on the side of the gate that it swings toward there are three sort of general categories of hinges butt hinges these look like your front door or bedroom door hinges strap hinges these extend across the face of the gate and hybrid hinges which are kind of a cross between a butt hinge and a strap hinge it is sometimes really challenging to figure out which type of hinge you actually need for the size of gate that you've got so we have created the hinge chooser to assist you in selecting the right hinges for your project uh, on that resource page at the end we've got a link to the hinge chooser and it'll walk you through your decision making and give you some options next on to gate stops they really are the hero of every gate installation the purpose of a gate stop is to protect the latch and hinges and to set up the gate so that it's aligned properly so that the latch closes properly every time you can install either a metal stop like this one and this comes with the latch set we include a gate stop with every latch set um, or you can install a wood strip on the jam and that would be similar to what you would see on a bedroom or bathroom door jam there's a vertical strip of wood running down the jam and that stops your door and the gates a wood gate stop would be built by you or your installer and it just stops the gate so it's an alternative and perfectly workable you can absolutely do that and it's great um, where to put a gate stop we prefer to see it close to the latch so that if the gate does any kind of bowing over time because wood does move uh, that the strike and latch are sort of in the same general realm as the gate stop we have made an animation about installing gate stops so that you can see with the metal one what it actually looks like and how it goes together and we've got that linked on that resource page as well suffice it to say you do need a gate stop on every gate that you install 
All right, let's talk about what info you would need to gather to place an order. You need to know what material you're looking for, what style of gate you want. You want to know what the gate thickness is that will limit you, um, potentially. And then also, um, what swing information. Um, please use the diagrams on each of our latch pages as you're looking to order because that shows you in swinging, out swinging, hinged on the left, hinged on the right. If you click to choose the one that matches what your gate swing looks like, you are sure to receive the proper handing. So locking is a really big topic that needs to be addressed um, kind of separately because it is so big. So on the resources page, we will reference um, a bunch of links to locking and for you to understand a little bit more about locking. And that will be at the end of the slideshow on the link. And if you have any questions about it, please do let us know. Using deadbolts on locks or on gates is challenging but doable and you just have to set your expectations. So in the video description down below on YouTube, you will see uh, this link to the single gate hardware resource page. Please click on that and it will take you to the summary of all of the information we've spoken about here and we'll get you started and please do let us know if you've got any questions email us at info at 360yardware.com